Hi everyone. Hopefully you can see my mouse I'm making circles with. I am at palangi.com slash macro. The purpose of this quick video is to show you how to use the beta Palangi Macro Builder, aka the Macro Calculator. Okay, over here I'm moving my mouse. You're going to go up there. This part you have to manually type in. I've got that set at 170, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to select 200 pounds. So that would mean 200 pounds, my goal body weight. Perhaps I weigh 250. Next is CPP, calories per pound of the desired body weight. I'm going to go ahead and select 20 because I'm a pig. The math will auto-populate down here. That's 4,000 total daily calories. Now, NOM stands for number of meals. The default will be please select, which is sort of truncated right here because I didn't format it properly. You're going to select your number of meals. So let's suppose I'm going to do that over four meals, eat myself into craziness at a thousand calories a meal. Automatically down here it provides me with the calories of protein, calories of carbs, calories of fat, and then right below that it does the auto math correlate to the calories broken down into grams, protein grams per meal, which I now call protein goal per meal for simplicity. Uh, grams is the given. And then 100 grams and 22. So this will match that. Next down here this can get confusing. Uh, the foods I selected and uploaded thus far are as follows. So I would select chicken breast, and this will tell me that to get 100 grams of protein per meal, I need to get 14.3 ounces of chicken breast. Select my carb. Oh, geez, I think I'm going to go with a Japanese yam. You can't really see that, so I'll go down here with grapefruits. Not a tasty mix, probably, but... Nonetheless, there's the math. 32.1 ounces of grapefruit would give me 100 carbs. Fat grams or fat gold per meal over here says 22. Select my fat source. Oh, gee, I'm going to go with some uh, uh, straight-up almonds. i got to weigh out 1.6 ounces of almonds, and there you go. Now, once you got all this selected, you could go up here and fool around with this. Let's say oh, it's for I want to go for 150, and I just click anywhere else. It'll, all, it'll auto-populate as well. Uh, calories per pound, let's go with 10, 1,500 calories, number of meals, select three, and all the math changes and the, proportion, the uh, portions change down here. All done for you. If it's your second time doing a challenge, this could be a useful tool. I recommend if it's your first time doing a challenge, suck it up. Get your pen, paper, calculator out, scratch your head, get ready to pull your hair out. Best thing that ever happened to you.